Yes, ladies and gentlemen, episode 62 of the Journey's anime titled The Depression of Sabla just dropped, and in this episode, Ghost Sabla evolves, but it struggles with its evolution. How? Let's find out. This is a really interesting episode because it doesn't really have a lot of dialogue. A lot of it is just emotional capture, and I really, really love that. I've always loved episodes where there isn't a lot of dialogue and expression is the thing that does most of the talking and this episode has that in spades. The episode begins with our heroes being interviewed on television for being research fellows that are so young and while that's happening, Go Sobble is still aiming to be an Intellion so it's around shooting things from the air like leaves before protecting an otter from getting hit by a berry falling down. This causes its evolution as the interview for our heroes end and they're outside saying goodbye to the reporters. This might be one of the first times where a major evolution happens for one of the main characters Pokemon and they aren't there to see it. In fact, I can't really think of any other time where that's been true. It's an interesting way to approach the evolution and while you might think I might hate it, I actually think this is really fantastic due to the context of the rest of the episode. Sobble thought that it was going to immediately evolve into an Inteleon, but when it evolves into a Drizzle, it gets really depressed. And the rest of the episode is basically it sulking around, being upset at the fact that it's depressed, and Go and Ash and the rest of his Pokemon trying to find him. When they do eventually find him in a cave, Go tries to tell him, hey, snap out of it, and pulls him out of the cave, only for Drizzle to run away. Go is obviously hurt by that and they do find out that when certain Pokemon evolve their personalities can change and that seemed to happen with Sobble to Drizzle similar to how it happened with Scorbunny to Rabu. In this case however it ran away and Go can't really figure out why. That is until he thinks about his own childhood. When he was a kid, he didn't really know how to make friends or want to be friends with people and his teachers would keep questioning him why and he really wouldn't know how to answer and he realizes this is what must be happening to Drizzile. So he goes to the same place that he used to go as a kid and finds Drizzile there. He talks about his experiences as a child and talks about the fact that he's going to give Drizzile space and whenever Drizzile's ready to come back to go, he'll be there ready. They go home and the next day when they check the cave again, Drizzile's in his cave. The lesson in this episode being that sometimes if you want to help people, it's best to just kind of let them be. Sometimes they need that alone time, seclusion time in order to continue with their feelings and both Go and Drizzile realize this at the end of the episode. I know this review is short and there's a couple of reasons for it but really this is one of those episodes that's just fantastic to watch and not really fantastic to review because like I said there isn't a lot of dialogue happening. I love this episode and honestly it's one of the better Go episodes I can think of. It takes a scenario and really gives it a realistic depiction and for that I give a round of applause to Pokemon. This is a fantastic episode that I feel like everyone needs to watch so if you haven't already check it out. Another reason this episode is cut so short is that I am supremely busy and I am going to be for the next couple of weeks. I really really hope that I'm able to make an episode next week but it looks less and less likely. So for the next couple of weeks I might not have an episode ready. So for the next few weeks even the good episodes I might not have a review. If that's the case sorry about that. The next episode looks like it focuses on Chloe and finally Ashish Dracovich makes his re-debut after being captured. I would love to see next episode but again like I said I'm going to be super busy so I don't even know if I'll be able to watch the episode on time. But still looking forward to it. But anyways that is it for my review of episode 62 of the Journey's Anime. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video like, share, subscribe in the comments. Let me know what your thought of this episode. You can follow me on Twitter at TheRealPDGaming and that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.